Hey guys, come join me as I explore Crete for the first time. I'm checking out one of their most popular attractions, which is a monastery, and I'm also checking out the capital city. Follow along. So we are here at Suda Crete. It's my first time being in this Greek island. I'm not sure what to expect. It's the largest Greek island and it's also the fifth largest in the Mediterranean. So they have around a population of 1 million which is surprisingly, they said it's like 10% of the entire population of Greece. So right now I'm here in Suda, Crete. So that's where the cruise docked and we took a, an hour and a half bus ride to the Arkady Monastery right here. So the Arkady Monastery is a symbol of Cretan pride. It also reflects their a multinational heritage of having the Baroque, Roman, and Venetian influences. And in the monastery, you'll see a lot of trees and it's actually their main source of income. They're beautiful inside. You can see the architecture. So this church is built around the 16th to 17th century and the facade has a both a Baroque and Roman influence. So the inside is built to be in the same style as a basilica. And back in the day before electricity, they had everything through candles. So that's why you see they left everything intact in terms of like the candles, the chandeliers also carry candles. Another interesting thing they said is these silver tickets here is something that they sell, like they sell hope. So, so you basically buy, if you have any problems with like your feet, your baby or something, you buy you buy one of the silver tickets and hope for good luck or something good to happen in that regard. This here is the Icon Gallery. Lots of different artifacts. This here is like some sort of altar. Or maybe even the confessional room where you enter and then there's a priest on the other side and you confess your sins. which is the capital of Crete. And you can see a mix of both Roman architecture and Ottoman style architecture. So this one right here is Roman architecture, which is now the Archaeological Museum of Culture. There was another street where it's using Ottoman architecture. I'll try to show that later. So on this street, the, the ones with the balcony are local Cretan architecture. It's nice to see all these different influences in architectures and buildings flourish in this old town. And you 
it's a very, very walkable town as well. And there's a water on the other side. Since it's also a harbor, it was heavily utilized during the Venetian period. So this right here is the Rimondi Fountain. Uh, Rimondi used to be the governor of Crete and people actually wash their hands and I've seen people actually drink the water as well so if you're thirsty and need some water you can drink from here so I'm now just wandering the street when I asked the guy like if there are any Cretan specialties or delicacies or dishes he did mention that there's a snail dish that's very specific to Crete but nothing in terms of street food or the smaller dishes that you see we only have like 20 minutes to explore and I was trying to see if I can eat something quick but it looks like I will be able to so let's see this I want to wander around as well and see what I can find this area looks so beautiful Here is a lighthouse and it's also some sort of fort from the, what it looks like. This is the street that they told that the architecture is based out of Ottoman style architecture. Ottoman is the fact that there's no balcony and uh, the ground floor is actually smaller than the upper floors. And there's some Cretan style architecture as well. I'm walking by the waterfront. And that's all the touristy restaurants you can find. It's very convenient though, like for example, I don't have much time, so technically, if I wanted to eat something really quick, I know I can eat at a tourist restaurant and still make it to my bus. But I'm not doing that. So this side, you see there's also a beach area that's free to public. I love how walkable the cities are. Miss I enjoy walking a lot, especially since I eat so much as well, so... Having all these like random alleys and streets with so much shops and things to explore, that's my kind of thing. And a lot of hidden gem restaurants are in those random alleyways, so that's why I love them too. I hope you enjoyed this quick day trip to Crete, and if you like this kind of videos, please be sure to like subscribe and watch this next video right here.